as we know, Bible prophecy indicates clearly that the beast is the papacy. I think you're going to find this video very helpful as we are in the end times. In fact, what you're about to watch is a powerful end time message about the papacy and also about the United States presented by Pastor Ted Wilson. So let's get right into the video and we'll add my thoughts at the end. Through the two great errors, the immortality of the soul and Sunday sacredness, Satan will bring the people under his deceptions. While the former lays the foundation of spiritualism, the latter creates a bond of sympathy with Rome. The Protestants of the United States will be foremost in stretching their hands across the Gulf to grasp the hand of spiritualism. They will reach over the abyss to clasp hands with the Roman power. And under the influence of this, of this threefold union, this country will follow in this step of Rome in trampling on the rights of conscience. Friends, this is not a conditional prophecy. It is rock solid confirming Revelation 13 and 14. You can be sure these events will happen. Now the United States, and I praise God for what this country has been, and I am a citizen of this country, and I thank God for the rights and the privileges of being a citizen. But this country, represented by the two-horned beast of Revelation chapter 13, verse 11, will repudiate the very foundations upon which it was founded. The two horns represent republicanism, not the party, but the form of government termed a republic, and the other horn representing Protestantism. This two-horned beast will create an image to the original beast through a national Sunday law, which will become universal. The image to the beast is an entity that will pattern its religious understanding after the characteristics of the beast. Now, we're told on page 445 of the Great Controversy that the image to the beast is apostate Protestantism working unitedly with the government of the United States in forcing the union of church and state as the beast has done and will do. Praise God for separation of church and state that we enjoy in this country and in other countries at this moment. Use the time wisely and proactively. Revelation 13 verse 12 states, and the he exercises all the authority of the first beast in his presence and causes the earth and those who dwell in it to worship the first beast whose deadly wound was healed. This clearly shows that the image to the beast, the United States combined with apostate Protestantism, will initiate activities to support the beast and a national Sunday law. And as the scripture says, will make the whole earth to worship the beast whose deadly wound is healed. Since 1929, when the state of the Vatican City or the Holy See was established, the papal power has grown in strength not only in religious areas but in geopolitical settings. We can be sure there will be national and international Sunday laws that will deprive all true Bible-believing Christians of the religious liberty and freedom of conscience that we value so much. Do not believe anyone, pastor, theologian, scholar, church member, teacher, anyone, who may tell you Sunday laws will not be enacted. That's an absolute falsehood, my friends. Yea, they will be enacted. Friends, it is true that some Adventists do not believe that there is going to be Sunday law. And I read an article on Adventist Today's website, and this article expressed doubt about the Sunday law and also criticized Ellen White's writings. It says, 
Recently, I participated in a Facebook discussion in which one of our pastors reminded us of the threats of Sunday laws. This in itself wasn't surprising. Sunday laws have been hanging over our heads for as long as I can remember. In my childhood church, we had long, fearful discussions about the blue laws, laws that closed businesses on Sunday in our state. Even back then, I wasn't quite sure how they threatened us. They were an inconvenience, to be sure, but no one ever tried to stop us from going to church on Sabbath, only from shopping on Sunday. So this was just an example of what Pastor Ted was talking about. Some Adventists, even some Adventist pastors, some Adventist theologians don't believe that there is ever going to be Sunday laws. And Pastor Ted Watson is telling all Adventists that we should not listen to these people. We should not listen to any Adventist, any pastor, any theologian that tells you that Sunday law is not going to happen. We read in Testimonies, Volume 4, page 595, Ministers who have preached the truth with all zeal and earnestness may apostatize and join the ranks of our enemies. But does this turn the truth of God into a lie? Nevertheless, says the apostle, the foundation of God standeth sure. The faith and feelings of men may change, but the truth of God never. The third angel's message is sounding. It is infallible. The devil, his supporters, and his false day of worship will appear to have triumphed, but it will not last long. God's great sign of his authority as creator, the seventh day Sabbath will be the seal on his people and will triumph forever when Jesus returns to take his people home to heaven. Make no mistake about what the Bible and the spirit of prophecy clearly indicate about last day events and prophecy. The final prophetic fulfillment is coming soon. Revelation 9 and 10, they go on to say, then the third angel followed them saying with a loud voice, if anyone worships the beast and his image and receives his mark on his forehead or in his hand, he himself shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured out full strength into the cup of his indignation. He shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the lamb and the smoke of their torment ascends forever and ever, and they have no rest day or night, who worship the beast and his image, and whoever receives the mark of his name. Receiving this mark in the forehead represents a conscious acceptance and belief of the beast's instructions. Receiving the mark in the hand represents that even in if you may not believe the instructions, you will sacrifice your eternal life simply to temporarily save your life. As we know, Bible prophecy indicates clearly that the beast is the papacy. And the Catholics get angry when they hear Adventists say that the papacy is the beast. They always see Adventists as anti-Catholic. We are not anti-Catholic. We only share the present truth. And this is not only about the Catholics, it is also about the Protestants. What is going on in some Protestant churches is just crazy and outside of biblical Christianity. This historical understanding was accepted by many Protestant reformers long before the Seventh-day Adventist church existed. And of course, we also accept this teaching based on a careful study of scripture and history. While we are counseled in the book Evangelism by Ellen White not to unnecessarily provoke those in the Roman church, it is important that we as leaders and our members know and understand that we believe and are willing to share in a kindly and straightforward way our beliefs. We are not anti-Catholic. We care about the salvation of everyone and will find ways of sharing these all important truths with as many as possible while there is still time.
So that was a powerful spiritual end time presentation to all Seventh Day Adventists and also to the world. So what do we have to do? We need to do something. We need to prepare ourselves spiritually, physically, emotionally, and name them for the final crisis. I think Dr. Vine made a presentation about how Adventists can prepare for the final crisis and I made video about this. So if you are interested, I have linked that video in the description so you can check it out after watching this video. Friends, things that are happening around us, even the things that are happening outside of the church and the things that are happening in the church show us that we are getting closer and closer to the final crisis and also to the second coming of Christ. So please let us prepare ourselves because Jesus is coming soon. So friends, this is all that I had to share with you today. I think this video was helpful since it provided spiritual message about the end times, about the papacy, about the United States and what is going to happen in this end times. So you can share this video with friends and if you have not subscribed to this channel, I would encourage you to do that so that you don't miss any video I publish. Thank you for watching. My name is Brother Lawrence and see you next time.